I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Jamestown 1607 in Virginia. I'm going to take two fingers way up here at the top and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line down, in, out, down, over, keep going, curve line, and off the page. I come back up to the top, I'm going to mimic that line, draw it again, curve line down, down, curve line down, across, keep going, keep going, and off the page. If you have room, straight line, straight line, baby triangle, baby triangle, baby triangle, baby triangle, north, east, south, west, compass rows. All right, come all the way up to the center right here, two fingers, put a dot. Now you're going to draw a flat oval, starting on the left. Straight diagonal down, curve line up, curve line, curve line, straight line up and leave it floating. Come on the right, straight diagonal down, curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line up, straight line over, connect. Now, come down here on this point and we're going to mimic this line. Curve line, curve line, curve line up, connect. Come on the right hand side, curve line, curve line, curve line up, connect. Right here we're going to draw a straight line across and right on top we're going to go straight line, straight line on the left, right, little little straight line, big straight line across, connect. All right, come up to this poor, uh, spot and we're just going to draw curve line down, up, connect, and now we're ready to draw a bunch of little straight lines in each one of these spaces and that is because this is all wood. These are wooden fences all the way around the main section of Jamestown. So you got to do all these little lines. Now I would suggest, jump over, hello, I would suggest if this is way too intense for you, draw first session one then session two, come in and color. Now on this I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, little straight lines inside. One more. Okay, now on this space right here I'm going to draw a baby circle, then I'm going to draw it again, and inside I'm going to write POW, P-O-W. And then I'm going to go zigzag, zigzag. I come up to this space and I'm going to draw a baby circle, draw a curve line again. Inside I'm going to write the word POW, zigzag, zigzag. I come down to this space right here, I draw a baby circle, little circle curve line again inside the word POW. Zigzag, zigzag. And you might say, what are you doing? The POWs are cannons. Okay? I come all the way up to the top. I draw a straight line, wavy line up, straight line down, curve line connect. That is the flag. Alright. 
come inside right here and we're just going to draw a big rectangle and then we are going to draw straight diagonal in connect straight line over straight diagonal out in connect little straight line straight line connect inside we're just going to draw X's and on this space we're just going to draw curved lines now depending on how you draw everybody needs to draw baby rectangles straight line diagonal little curved lines on top X inside these are the homes for everybody to live in and they basically use the same kinds of structures that they had in England. So you've got your rectangles, straight diagonal, straight, straight diagonal, straight, chimney, straight line, straight line, X, X, and then the curved lines is because they were thatched roofs. Everybody's going to end up with a different amount. That's okay as long as you get the general idea of what you are drawing. So there's all the housing. And then if you have room, pick a spot and just draw a square and another straight line, straight line, diagonal. These are wells. You had to have water. Let's put one here because it fits. Straight line, diagonal, straight line. So there's your water. Okay, come down over here on the lower right and we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight diagonal up, straight line over, draw a little curved line, one, two, one, two, straight lines. Let's do it again. Straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal up, straight line over, little curve line, one, two, one, two straight lines. Come all the way up to the top. Again, everybody's going to do it differently. Zigzag, 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 connect. Zigzag, 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 connect. You're going to fill in this space with all of these zigzag zigzags connect we will explain these when we get done coloring or when we color zigzag 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 now I'm gonna write Jamestown so I don't forget what I'm doing and this is specifically 1607 long time ago over here I'm gonna write Virginia Okay, that was the colony. I think, oops, very important. This is water, curve line, curve line. This was part of the reason how they began as a settlement. Okay, all right. Let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is color in my water. And I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop it with blue-green. And this is how they made entry to the settlement. They did it by water. So this is all water. This is how they're going to get their supplies. This is what they sailed in on. This is all water. Okay. I'm using blue-green. If you have fancy colors, you can use fancy colors, but I just use blue-green. Then, I'm going to take one of my multicultural crayons, and this is the shoreline that came all the way down, and basically, again, was where the settlement came in from. Okay, then I'm going to take my multicultural crayon that is, I think, peach, and I'm going to do all of this space around my actual drawing. And this is part beach, 
and land. Okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and do the inside part of my settlement. Okay? Just to give it a little bit of color so it doesn't look so white. Okay? Oops, don't forget this part up here. Alright. Now, I take my yellow. Very important. I'm going to color in my POWs. Now the P-O-W POW is because these are cannon. This, this settlement was fortified against who they perceived were their enemies. And I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color in all the roofs, all these spaces, yellow. And that's because in England they had thatched roofs. And that's what they brought over and put on their houses in Jamestown. Once you've done that, I'm going to come in with regular blue so that I know this is a well. This is a source of water. Okay. I'm going to use my regular brown for my boats. Little boats. This is them going out for sailing, fishing maybe. Little boats. Those would be there. Okay. Now I am going to color in all of the wood fencing. This was to keep out enemies, animals, whatever they were afraid of. And it keeps all of them in. I'm going to put a little bit of color right here on the edge. That was all fenced in also. Then I'm going to take my gray and I'm going to color the bottom part of my settlement homes. I'm going to take red and I'm just going to add a little bit of red on my POW so that I know Those were not Put a little bit of red and blue up here on my flag. Okay. Get my regular green. It was surrounded by forest. So we'll do some green. All the way down. Okay. I think that's all, but I never know until we get done. I think that's all. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, this is my simplified version of Jamestown, Virginia, 1607. Okay, bye-bye.